And first at noon, a pre-dawn deluge leading to a flood of trouble in several South Florida neighborhoods. Some people even ditching the car today and taking a canoe to get around. And all that rain forcing the shutdown at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport for several hours this morning. That airport has since reopened, but travelers are now dealing with dozens of flight delays. And with this being a holiday travel week, this bad weather could not have come at a worse time. This record rainfall overnight creating quite a Yes. Today we have live team coverage with a crew in Hollywood where there's major street flooding. But let's begin with CBS 4's Ted Scouten, who's live at the airport in Fort Lauderdale with much more on the impact there. Ted. Hi, Diane. Well, you know, it doesn't happen very often that the airport closes, but it actually closed this morning for about three hours. It has since reopened. Let me give you just kind of an idea of what's causing that. Uh, you can see right out there, that's the north runway. You can see all that standing water. That was a problem uh, here at the airport on the airfield as well as on the roadways coming in. You can see right now a plane taking off. The north runway had been closed, but it has reopened since then for departures only. And uh, so far today, 113 flight delays and some very long lines inside. The lines at FLL began well before passengers got inside the terminal. Getting through flooded roadways made for a long ride. It literally took us 30 minutes to go across the loop-de-loop -loop that like goes into the airport. And our Uber was like so annoyed because he had to like sit through all the traffic. Rebecca Ludi was stuck for a while. She learned the airport was closed from 3 in the morning until about 6 a.m. When she finally got inside, she found a flight status board lit up with delays and even more lines. It's a long line. Oh my God, like two hours probably to be in this line. I don't know. It's, it's very, very long. And we just want to go to Michigan already to go home for Christmas. Joan Cadigan is heading to New York. She feels pretty lucky. Her flight was only delayed an hour, but it wasn't easy for her to get here either. The day has been long because we have uh, to, 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 we had to do some detours to go around to get here and then the wait. Of course the flooding and the traffic and there was an accident so it took quite a while to get where we are now. More than seven inches of rain fell over the airport leaving parts of the airfield flooded as well as roadways in the area. The north runway had to be closed because of so much standing water. Passengers coming and going can expect a day filled with delays. For sure the delays will continue on until the airlines are able to, 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 to get out the flight that they need to. So that's a situation where if anyone's traveling today, they will need to keep in contact with their airlines to check on their flight status. All right, and a live look at the airport again at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, where traffic is moving once again. The airport is open. The north runway, as you can see right there, is open despite uh, a lot of the water on each side of the runway. Again, as of right now, there are 113 flight delays here at FLL. Of course, that will change throughout the day. And you know, when they say make sure you give yourself enough time when you come to the airport, that's especially true today because, as we said, there are some very long lines inside. Live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. 